Hey guys, welcome to Data Tech, your one stop channel for all the data science and machine learning updates. In today's video, we will look at the ongoing interviewing process trends in the field of data science. So, basically, what is asked to a data scientist in the interview rounds. Depending on companies to companies, the interviewing process may differ here and there by a bit, but underlying concept remains the same. The data science fundamentals are checked, DS algo are uh, checked and as well as whether the candidate has the capability to frame a business problem statement into an analytical solution or not that is checked. So what I have done in this video is I have tried to frame uh, the commonalities and some differences in the interview process uh, to the best of my capability. So let's get started. So some companies start with a case study round which we can also co call as take home assignment and the candidate is given uh, two weeks or, or a week to solve the problem and submit the case study and once the case study is uh, submitted it's checked and as well as if everything goes right if the solution looks decent then the next round is uh, organized where the candidate has to present the uh, solution uh, uh, to the interviewer and also during this process the ML fundamentals are checked. So let's uh, look into it into more details. So first of all a case study is given. It may seem boring or time consuming uh, to solve that case study because it will take the whole weekend and all but on the positive side uh, the candidate gets to solve a toy version of the actual problem the company is solving and uh, depending on the company's domain the company you are interviewing for the problem may belong to the, uh, the domain that company is uh, working on it can be finance, retail, human resource, real estate or manufacturing domain so in a way it's, it may appear to be time consuming and boring in the beginning but you get to solve the actual uh, toy version of the problem that company is solving and in this interview process even though you have not worked in that domain but you will get to solve uh, in the case study a version of problem from that domain so that's a win-win and what would be my suggestion for this round do some exploratory data analysis given the problem statement in the case study to be solved define an evaluation metric build some models provide suggestions that what type of data is there and what more type of data that can be looked upon and what other use cases are possible and once you have developed the model you have developed the solution if it's good if you can also uh, mention how to productionize it how to uh, provide the model as an api and so on and uh, during the presentation one needs to defend their approach uh, expect data science fundamental questions suppose you have used a model xdboost then you may be asked some questions about the model and then it may lead to another discussions and so on. So in a way along with the case study the fundamentals uh, of the data science are also tested as there will be follow up questions and uh, there can be questions like how will you productionize the solution and so on. So yeah some companies give a key, uh, case study or take home assignment which you have to complete and on completion you have to present it. While some other companies have a screening or telephonic round, they don't have a case study, they have a screening or telephonic round followed by a interview round where ML fundamentals, project overviews and DS algo fundamentals are checked. So what happens in the screening or telephonic round? So mostly what I have seen, the screening or telephonic round is a quick 30 minutes round to check on basics. What is the past experience of the candidate? Why is the candidate looking for a switch? And whether for the given job, the candidate appears to be a good fit or not. And in the next round, follow up round, which is ML Fundamentals Project over UNDS Algo Fundamentals. In the ML Fundamentals, the fundamentals of data science, statistics, deep learning, these are tested. And there can be questions like, what are the assumptions of linear regression? What is the loss function of logistic regression? And uh, uh, what is the non-linear function used in logistic regression? And if a non-linear function like uh, sigmoid is used in logistic regression, does that make logistic regression a linear or non-linear model? And also there can be questions like what is momentum optimizer in deep learning? How is it better than vanilla gradient design? So these kind of fundamental questions can be asked to test your knowledge on the uh, data science, uh, statistics and deep learning fundamentals. On the project overview, my suggestion will be 
you can ask to explain the project set the context what the project was all about was what's the business metric what was the technique used and how it benefited the business and expect the follow up questions that uh, why a particular metric was chosen or why a particular technique was used and um, also one key observation at times a lot of learning happens through this interview process where the interviewer can ask uh, you a question that why you didn't try x or point out some uh, observation in the a uh, technique that you had used so when you go back and think about it it makes sense and also sometimes you may be asked a question or topic that you don't know much about or you don't have complete clarity you can go back and learn about it so in a way lot of learning happens in interview process if you are open towards it and what is asked in ds algo and fundamentals i will cover in the next slide so uh, depending on the interview process of the companies there could be case study and case study solution presentation along with ml fundamentals or there can be screening round telephonic round followed by ml fundamentals project overview in ds algo deep dive and a part of that most companies will have a ml concept deep dive and ds algo coding round so what happens in that is in the initial rounds maybe ml fundamentals were checked here the ml concepts will be checked in more depth some example questions can be how does it exibus model works how does it bird model works or how does it transformer architecture look like and there can be statistics questions on hypothesis testing central limit theorem or ab testing framework so in that knowledge of ml concepts are checked coming to ds algo and coding round uh, so one question that many data scientists do have is are data scientists ask algorithms and data structures yes companies are asking it if not very complicated ones but still questions on array dynamic programming recursion are common and knowledge of time and space complexities are tested and knowledge of data structure like array list stack queue map set write queue uh, is good to have because those will be tested in this in these interview uh, rounds of ds and algo and as well as uh, it's tested whether the person can code or not if he has the uh, capability to convert the logic into uh, code or not and uh, some sample questions could be given an array find the next greater element on the right side of every element in the array so if you do it in a brute force order n square solution is possible and the optimal solution uh, is order n time complexity and order n time space complexity using stack data structure it can be solved here in the stack you always have the next greatest element for an given element and also there can be question like given an array find an element before which all the elements are smaller and after which all the elements are greater you can do a uh, search for every index it will be order n square brute force but an optimal solution is possible using dynamic programming where for every index you can uh, uh, store in the left side the maximum and in the right side the minimum and you can check if for this element in the left side the maximum is less than it and in the right side the minimum is more than it then you can solve it uh, using that technique which is kind of dynamic programming and uh, it can be solved with order n type complexity or order n space complexity so expect this type of questions in ds algo and some deep dive of uh, machine learning concepts and yeah there are going to be projects deep dive as well once these kind of rounds are completed we have the ml concepts fundamentals deep dive and ds algo fundamentals are checked then comes the design round for many of the companies so what is it ml design round so first of all let's differentiate between system design round and ml design round system design rounds are mostly asked to software engineers or ml engineers where it's more focused on creating a scalable system which can support the needed load it has low latency number of servers replication factor choice of caching layer choice of database and so on but ml design round are different ml design round is not about creating a scalable system it's more about how can you can frame a business problem into an ml solution or how you can frame a business solution into an analytical solution some problem statements can be like design a recommendation system or design a retrieval system design a cashback mechanism with a total fixed budget and some constraint so if you are giving a cashback you won't have uh, infinite budget you will have some budget so given that fixed budget you need to design a cashback mechanism and some additional constraints so this type of 
questions can appear in the design round. So, uh, what would be my suggestions? Start with asking questions that what is the end objective, what kind of data is available, and if some data is not available, what are the assumptions we can make on that data, and clearly specify how are you uh, converting that business problem into an analytical solution, how are you framing that business problem into an analytical solution, and type of data you will utilize, what will be your target variable, what will be your loss function, what will be your evaluation metric and why. And uh, in this type of problem where you have a fixed budget, you if you create an ML model on top of it, you need an optimization layer as well, right? So what is your optimization engine on top of ML model? And uh, there can also be questions like if you have to productionize it, how will you productionize and how you will do the model serving? Model serving basically means uh, making a model available as an API. So uh, uh, some companies have this ML design round, while some companies which are more research focused also have a research paper round. What happens in research paper round is you will be provided with a research paper with a deadline of a day or two and follow up questions will be asked after a day or two once you are ready for the round to check your ability to read and understand research work and ability to understand and implement the approach if needed in some of the projects. So uh, basically these are the main uh, rounds of uh, most of the companies and followed by this the final round happens which is a hiring manager round. So what happens in hiring manager round, what I have seen and what I have observed from uh, what my friends have told, hiring manager rounds nowadays are mostly techno managerial round where the uh, round will become relatively easier if the previous rounds feedback already is positive. And mostly the manager would like to test you on your stakeholder management uh, capabilities, your behavior fit and ability to work in a team and some scenario based questions may be asked what you did in those kind of scenarios and some tough situation you would have faced at work, any conflict at work, those kind of questions may appear. And also it can sometimes be ML design question once again because it can be technical round as well and some technical question corresponding to data science, ML, stats and so on. So yeah, that's that's uh, mostly it. I have tried to frame the interview process of different companies in this way where the parallel branches shows that the process can vary here and there, but the common branches shows that even if some rounds are different, these will be the common rounds. So yeah, that's it for this uh, video in which we looked at the interview process in ongoing interview trends for the data scientist interviews and uh, hope it was helpful. Uh, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more such content. Bye.